Well, what, 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 are we, what are we in store for? What are we yes, having? It's just a bit of pot of vegetables and a bit of meat, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? It's, listen, it's rough stuff, but it's good stuff. You know, nothing fancy. It's not restaurant gear. There's only me who can probably eat it, but that's me, you know what I'm saying? It's done me no harm. So, yeah. Give it, give it for an experience, Andy. Is my stomach going to be able to handle it? We'll see, see if we can't pass the services on the way home, innit? I'll get on with it anyway, I'll get it going. See that look? Nothing but veg in there. Do you eat sweet meat as well? So yeah, I eat yeah, meat, yeah. Yeah, I eat meat, but I'd rather the vegetables. There's everything in there. Yeah, yeah. All I need, all the nutrients you can get. That's what it is. It's two days old, that. John, three meals a day of in. What do you think, for three meals a day, what do you think to eat going to breakfast, lunch and dinner? Yes, me. Yeah. Anything really, my mother. If it's edible, I'm eating it. If it's edible, I've got it in me. Not fussy. Because let me tell you something. When I was a kid, there wasn't enough food to go around and mind be picky with it. So, you know, yeah, what you've got put in front of you. And lick the plate as well. And I lived my life on bread and dripping me as a kid. You know, so I can eat anything. If it's edible, I can get it down me. You know, and that's, that's it. You know, a lot of people can't do that, can they? Because they're stuck in this modern world, and it's not covered in sauces or mayonnaise and all this. They can't eat it. You know, but listen, it's what it is, isn't it? That'll not poison you. You might get the odd flick of a bit of ash off the wood or something like that, but that won't kill you. So extra extra seasoning, John. Well, there you go. You know, when you're cooking outdoors, you expect a flicker yeah. in the pan, that can't you? So I don't bother. Listen, I've been doing it all my life, and I'm still here. So I'm going along with what's good for me. Like I say, the great outdoors. And there's plenty of people do this. So it's surprising today how many people do this kind of thing. You know, because I've learnt better sense now. They're thinking, hang on, I'm going to leave the stress behind for a bit and just chill out, recharge my batteries. There's a better way to do that than this. John, I know you said you're a simple man when it comes yeah. to your food, but uh, are there any kind of speciality dishes that might surprise people? Like what? Anything that you might kind of whip up that nobody would expect? Not really. I would say egg jugs and stuff like that, but I'm not going to. They don't like them. I've ate them and I don't like them. You know, and... Uh, when you can get meat at the butchers for a pound a pound, why go and, why go and massacre little animals? They've got a right to live, haven't they? You know, let the butchers do it, it's their job, isn't it? Let the butcher do the massacring. Because I don't like hating animals, me. But if I've got to do it to live, I'll do it, won't I? And all the time I can get it easy, I'll get it easy, won't I? When my dog can kill me a rabbit, oh, well, I'm done. But if he can't, it's a fair shop, isn't it? <laughs> Let's be honest and real here. Huh? It is what it is. So when was the last time, John, you had kind of family around and they was all mucking in and having the same type of food that you're having there? Years ago. Before the fame, before the fortune, before they all got red stuck up the rear end. You know, it was all real living then, but now it's all gone. And it's only me now. It's only me. And I don't really get on with the family because they're too modern for me and I'm too old fashioned for them and I'm stuck in my ways. I'm not going to change because I feel they was the better times. So I ain't changing. But they'll change because they want to go with this modern walk, don't they? Think for me. They look at me, my lads, and think my dad's daft. He's lost his marbles. You know, that's up to them, isn't it? What can we do? So it can do, just live out our, our existence. Well, you know something, it costs us nothing to do this. I live like this. What's this gonna cost? Tenner a week, you know? About a tenner a week. Because most of it's only vegetables. And if you eat meat any more than twice a week, it's bad for you, isn't it? So we don't need that. Just getting nice and burnt now. A bit of ash flying in that pot, it's looking good. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking forward to it, John. Let me John, do you, have a, do you have a cheat meal? Do what? Do you have a cheat meal? We all have cheat meals, don't we? 
You know. What's yours, man? Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> yeah. I'm addicted to the stuff. That's why I'm fat. But I haven't had none now for three months. We'll stop by a shop before we leave, John. We'll bring no, you, you won't. <laughs> if, I one, if I have one ice cream, I'll let me eat it for a, for a month before I get over it. So I don't bother. What's your favourite flavour? I'll eat any, any ice cream. <laughs> any. I like the Argan does ones there, good, aren't they? The German ones. Brilliant. But listen, it's all rubbish, isn't it? Sugar is the cause, along with stress, of all ailments. Do you know that? Sugar. Sugar. Cancer feeds off sugar. And all this synthetic stuff now, it's even worse. And all that stuff, what you eat, like junk food, it's full of synthetics and additives. And this, that and the other, and it causes these bad things. You know, but what I eat here, what, 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 what are you going to feed off that? You know what I'm saying? A pot of vegetables, a bit of meat cooked in whatever, in its own fat. Can't see that happening. But listen, We've one done. man's meat's another man's poison, isn't it? What okay. won't kill me, probably kill you three. <laughs> John, I'm going to grab you some sugar-free ice cream then. Nah, man, don't worry. When my body craves it, I'll go and get a, a cone. Till then, I'll leave it. I'll leave it till then. Hey. I'm trying to think off something like it. <laughs> John, I know we've, we've spoken about kind of the simple meals meals you like to eat. Um, yeah. Are you a man who likes maybe a bit of sausage and mash? Me? Yeah. I'll eat, like I say, I'll eat anything, me. I'm not bothered. Are there any meals you miss from, from being out in kind of... But out in the outdoors. Miss? Yeah. No. Because you know me, I don't get addicted to nothing. If I ain't got it, I can do without it. I'm one of them kind of people. If I haven't got it, I'll do without it. You know when you're doing your, the dinner events? Yeah. What, what are they serving up for you on these? Do you know what? It's all good food, but like I say, it's modern day stuff, isn't it? You know, it's all fast food, so I don't really bother. But I was in Wolverhampton, yeah. and they did a good, good thing. It was like a chicken roast dinner thing, and you can see it was quality food, so I ate that. But I'll skip the ones what's been uh, packet meals. Like, I don't eat packet, packet food at all. Yeah. Fish fingers, pizzas, cheeses, stuff like that. I try to keep away from them. You're naming all of my favourite foods here, Listen, John. <laughs> they'll kill you. So you want to, they're not, you, you want to get uh, another idea of a favourite food, because in the end... But let me tell you something, when you're young, when you're young, your body can stand a lot of things, but you know when you get older, you've got to start taking care, you know? You've got to start taking care, and if you don't, you can expect all kinds of problems. And with me, I don't like hospitals, and I don't want to go there if I can help it, and if I can enhance my job, we'll try and eat right, I will. Do you ever venture down the pub, John, for, for a, a little beer, a pint? I don't drink a lot, but now and again, now and again, but I only have what I, what I have and that's it. I'll have a couple and leave it, and then probably six or 12 months I have any more. What's your go-to drink? Are you, a, are you a beer man? Are you a Guinness? A, a Guinness? I like a pint of Guinness, yeah. Yeah, I like a pint of Guinness. Now and again, though. Yeah. Don't do it every day. Everything in moderation, so they say, innit? John, when you had like Tommy and Tyson growing up, what did they used to eat? 
McDonald's. <laughs> I had no say. It was the women what fed them, you know, and at the end of the day, a child eats anything. If it tastes as nice and sugary, a kid will keep eating it. So when they've had an ice cream and a McDonald's and a Kentucky chicken and all that, they won't eat good food then, because there's no taste of good food. So I take it you'd plan. still obviously be eating food similar to this whilst the other, your kids would be eating what I would used to eat at McDonald's, a KFC, what have you. Yeah, is what it is, isn't it? Is what it is, but it's not me. I can only tell them, if they won't listen, that's up to them, isn't it? But I won't push it down the neck, I know what I'm doing. But if they know what they're doing, which I don't think they do half the time, it's the speed of the world today. It's 100 mile an hour. Food's 100 mile an hour. You get it, you know. You can go in a shop and order it, it's back out then two minutes in front of you. So where's it come from? It's been pre-cooked, straight in the microwave, warmed up in front of you. So you've just got to watch what you're doing, I say. John was up when I was growing up, if ever I didn't finish a meal, my dad would finish it. Was you the same with yeah. your kids? If they didn't eat it, I'd definitely eat it. I'd definitely eat it, believe me. I would. It's what it is, isn't it? Food was hard to come by when I was a kid. We never had notes, so when we did get it, we appreciated it. What you was know? your favourite meal growing up? Anything. Didn't have one. Was that hungry, mate? Yeah. Time we got fed. Most interesting favourite meals. Interesting getting full. You know. But it is what it is. We can't do anything about it. Life's changed. Times have changed. There's more opportunities today, aren't there? A lot more money about, see. There's a lot more money about. So with the food you've got at the minute, John, how, how do you go about storing it? I don't. So you just buy whatever you're going to use on, say, yeah, a I day do, yeah. and then go back to the shops? Leave that in the pot. When it's empty, I'll go and boil another pot. No one that, is there? I think I was a bit of a fattiest bit of a chop. <laughs> no wrong with that. I don't know, John, I am enjoying it. <laughs> it's, it's nice. Tasty, yeah. isn't it? Tasty. Yeah. Just cooks in all of its own fats and juices. Yeah. Andy, what would you make for John? I'd make either a shepherd's pie, or I do, I do make sausage and mash, because um, I make a really nice mash, an onion gravy. I think you'd enjoy it as well, John. I would. Next time, well we'll, we'll flip the rolls and I'll cook for you. Why not? Why not? Yeah, John, I was just thinking then, if you was on death row, what would be your last meal? McDonald's, Kentucky Fried Chicken, curry, <laughs> fry ups, everything. Because I'm going to die anyway, so I'm going to get into it, <laughs> wouldn't I? Everything I've done without in my life, I'd make up for on death row. That's the right feed me, explode me. You better, you better die and buy food than lethal injection, aren't you? <laughs> Let me tell you, I hope never to be in that position, with the grace of God. But there's some poor people out there, through circumstance, and I feel sorry for them all. What do we do? We've got to keep going, haven't we? I'll be honest with you, John, if I was on death row, I think I'd just ask for your pork chops and your, your, your stew, because I'm enjoying this. You're only being nice to me, Andy. I'm not honest, John, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> That's not to enjoy. Don't they taste well, though? Mm. Out of a pan? Yeah. Listen, it is what it is, life. It's life to be, meant to be enjoyed, isn't it? It's meant to be enjoyed. I'm an old man, I'm 56 years old, and I can rep out one portis. What can Tyson rep? Same, same. You do 130, 140, you should imagine. But we're not weightlifters. Yeah. We're not weightlifters. If I could get on a bench now, and I, I, could do, I could do a set of six or eight with 140, and I'm not a weightlifter, you know? Yeah. But if I trained to be a weightlifter when I was younger, I'd probably do more. It's practice, isn't it? So this food keeps you strong, you know? It's like this, that day weighs two and a quarter ton. You know, I can hook that up, push it around, not myself, I, I, you know, I hook it up myself. If it needs adjusting, I do it manually. 
I move all the lock on that with my hands and that and I push it a couple of foot to get it where I want it to be. So yeah, it's done me no harm. John, what's the strangest thing you've ever eaten? Cool. You know, I don't know, you know. I don't know. I'm not going to say uh, animals like frogs and stuff like that, I wouldn't eat stuff like that. I just wouldn't eat them. You See, know, I haven't had much strange stuff, you know, to be honest. Never had any snails or no. anything like that? No, nothing like that. No. I had a taste of an head job one time. My cousin Bartley made it. And uh, I didn't like it. It's not for me all that, to be honest. Keep it simple. A, a bit of meat, a bit of vegetables, a bit of fruit, a few nuts. You know, eat nuts for my breakfast. You know, I'm big on porridge as well. Yeah. But I only eat porridge with water. Hot water and porridge. No sugar, no milk. Where do you get your water from whilst you're out here? In the can. Oh, in the can. I'll go to this house across the road here. Okay. He'll give me a drop of water. Yeah. You know, and that there lasts me a few days. It's only to have a cup of tea and to wash in, isn't it? You know. It is what it is, isn't it? What have you got it to do? The nice people, you know, you treat people with respect, you'll get it back no matter what walk of life you're from. You know, people around here, they know what I am. They know who I am, what I am. But they know I'm a respectful kind of a guy. I'm not a liberty taker. And they treat me sound. They really do, and I'm, I'm glad of that. And it makes me proud and honoured that people treat me right. Because strangers sometimes will treat you better than your own family, won't they? That's how I see it anyway. Strangers will treat you better than your own. That's been proven time and time again, hasn't it? You know? It's been proven time and time again. So John, how, how old was you when you first started cooking and who taught you? Nobody. That's not, that's, you don't need to be a cook to do that. That's just hot water. And 45, my mum said to me, never boil the vegetables past 45 minutes because you're taking all the things out of them. 45 minutes is enough. We overcook them and there's no in them. You know, everything come off my mum. Everything I do come off my mum. No one else. Nobody else. Well, it's, it, to me, if it looks cooked, it's cooked. If it's brown on each side, and it's not raw in the middle, it's cooked, isn't it? But you know, my mother, she used to, uh, she knew everything. The old women did, didn't they? They knew everything. And what, what you are, you are your mother and your father, aren't you? Yeah. There's only two people you're going to take after, your mum and your dad. You know, and I had good, a good mother and father. So, John, if you had a lot of beef or like, if you had steak, would you have it well done, I take it? Well done, yeah. Yeah, I like cooked food. I can't eat that raw stuff. That blood coming out of it. No benefit that, is it? There you go. A bit more stick out of his head somewhere, boys. Dry stick somewhere, I should imagine I'll find some. John, what would you what would you tend to look to eat before you start exercising or before a big session? Me, I always eat two and a half hours before. You know, and I don't overdo it. You know, I just eat till I'm full and that's it. What would you have if it was before a big session? Just a load load upon carbs. Yeah. What what carbs have I when I say carbs, I just mean potatoes. Stuff like that, normal carbs, bit of porridge, you know, none, nothing synthetic. My carbohydrate consists of a day, porridge and potatoes, that's it, no more. I might have the odd couple of slices of brown only or bread or something like that, but bread blows me up, it hampers my performance. Because, you know, it just swells up in, in your stomach bread.
Never mind a dietitian. Man's food. John, your cooking or the food in prison? Hey. Would you prefer your cooking or the food in prison? This, but the food in prison weren't bad, you know. What did you used to get? You know, in strange ways, you got steak. Oh, wow. It was a lot of gristle in it, like, but it was still steak. It wasn't quality of stuff, but you know what? People go on about jail, food ain't bad, you know. It's not bad. People go on about jail, full stop. You hey, listen, if you didn't like the great outdoors, and you didn't like getting your leg, and you didn't like getting your leg over and stuff like that and enjoying life. Well, prisons are prisons are doddle. But when you got family out here and you live like I live, it's hard work. Total. So what we do is keep out that job. Keep out of it. Right, gentlemen, carry on. Just try that first because it's very, yeah. it's hard work. Believe me, boys. Go on, see how you're going with that first. Ah. I'll do mine at the pan. Not too good, is it? It's all right. Going to... And he's some man, mate. Give you the due. He's some man, kid. I've eaten worse. There's no trouble that. I'm not just saying it to be nice, John, but I honestly think you're right in what you say, but longer it's like been there for it, yeah. it tastes better. Yeah, honestly. You know, eating out of a pan like that tastes better again. Yeah, that gives you fuel for the 10k, mm -hmm. all of that. Well, I'm thinking, yeah. How often do you go for like a 10k run? Or do you, do you ever I'll tell you what I do. I'll get up in the morning, Monday morning, 10k. Tuesday, two miles. 10k, I say 6.6 .6 mile, yeah. which is 6.2 mile 10k. But I do 6 mile of a Monday, 2 mile Tuesday, 4 mile Wednesday, 2 mile Thursday, 3 mile Friday. I'll do another 10k Sunday, one day a week rest. Yeah. So I'm on it. It's a lot of running. Yeah, I'll go to the gym in the night time as well. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely will. Yeah, mate. There's not much taste to that, but listen, pure veg in it. Yeah. I'm kind of used to it because I'm only eating chicken and vegetables at the minute, twice oh, yeah. a day. I thought you'd lost a bit of weight. I'm trying to lose weight. I put a stone and a half on over lockdown, so I've lost half a stone. I want to lose the other stone. I'm down to 19 stone from 24 stone. Jesus. Mm. What's the goal? What's the aim? I'm going to try and get down to about 17 and a half yeah. if I can. I'm sure by the end of the summer I will be. Because you are what you eat, aren't you? When you're going running, are you, are you running on the roads or are you just running kind of around this no, field? Because this field's quite... No, I run on the road. I've run on the road all my life. Yeah. yeah. I've run on the road all my life. Say the knees and all this job. Got bad knees, don't run on it. 